Canary 26th. I'm at 103rd Street, Donald Trump's not here. Vote for me, uh, Tennessee. If you live in Tennessee, vote for Terry. Like Donald Trump, your campaign sucks too. Like seriously, I want you to know it's Donald Trump. City. I really do. But, you know, I used to live up here on 103rd Street a long time ago, and I even fell in love with somebody up here. That, that's, a, that's a story that I'm sure you happy people already know. That. But I fell in love with somebody up here on 103rd Street. Here like here's Times Square down here, but we're all the way up here now. In a forgotten part of the city. And like I fell in love right there, dude. With some guy named Carl Gooch. And that was a long fucking time ago. And anyway, so now I'm the prophet of a lot of people and uh, I'm running for president, like crooked Hillary's not here, dude. You know, come to the Bronx, Hillary Clinton. You too, Donald Trump. Come to the Bronx and have one of your stupid little closed meetings. Like, come meet some real fucking people. Like, seriously, Hillary Clinton. Not your little rich friends and all that shit, Hillary. Like, you know, they're gonna vote for homeless man over you, Hillary Clinton, for real, dude. You know, what about people, Hillary? You're as fake as a politician gets, Hillary Clinton, for real. Terry 2016, and I fell in love with somebody up here named Gooch. This is not Times Square, it's not Wall Street, Hillary Clinton, for real. Vote for me, um, Illinois. Vote for me, um, New Orleans. And, um, Mississippi. Yeah, vote for me, Mississippi. Am I asking? Mississippi, motherfuckers, for real. I'm from Mississippi. Yeah, Mississippi. So, like, no, hold on. Now we're up here in a forgotten part of Manhattan. Tourists don't come up here. Nobody comes up here besides the people that live here. It's quiet up here. It is. We're in Harlem. So, like, this is what Harlem looks like, people, for real, dude. If you never, if Texas, if you've never seen Harlem, this is fucking Harlem right here, for real. This is authentic, 1,000% Harlem. You know, oh, be careful. So, like, vote for me, Harlem, over Crooked Hillary. Like, I'm down here, I know what's up. I know what the fuck is going on, for real. I do. You know, Hillary Clinton wants to lock these people up for loitering, like, seriously, and so does Donald Trump. Don't vote for those people for real, dude. Those people should be able to sit there anytime they want. And Black Lives Matter, Hillary Clinton, for real, dude. You, you and your fucking super predator, bitch. Come up here to 103rd Street, Hillary Clinton, and buy a fucking taco from a Mexican, Hillary Clinton. You know, there's black people up here too, Hillary. Leave your secret service behind, Hillary. Come up here with the rest of us, Hillary Clinton. Like, this is not the fucking country club. This is not the fucking world off of story of Hillary Clinton. We're in fucking Harlem, Hillary. Vote for me, um, the state of Washington and the state of Seattle and, um, California and, um... Nevada and Arizona. Vote for me, Arizona. Terry 2016 for president. Um, I'm your third party candidate, and there is no other third party candidate. There won't be one. The vote for me, Christians, like seriously. I'm a Muslim, but like I stand with it for real, dude. So anybody's religion should not be fucked with. It's wrong to fuck with the Arabs, it's wrong to fuck with the Christians, it's wrong to fuck with the Jews. It's wrong to fuck with the Buddhists, it's wrong to fuck with everybody. Everybody deserves to be able to respect their own religion and not have it exploited on the news as bad or evil or terrorism like they're doing to Islam. You know, leave Islam alone, motherfuckers, for real, dude. 
Like, I mean that. Leave Islam alone, Donald Trump. Leave Islam alone, Hillary Clinton, for real, dude. Because you will burn in hell if you try to change Islam for real, dude. Only I can change Islam because I'm the prophet of a lot of motherfuckers. Like, seriously? So, no, dude. Every woman's got to wear a hijab. And we're going to get your government cleaned out for real people. We owe China a shitload of money. And we're going to start paying them back right, right, like right now, dude. And this deli is going to have to have extra taxes on it for the national debt that Hillary Clinton created that she profited off of. There's going to be a gasoline tax for Barack Obama's corruption. There's going to be a fucking property tax for Donald Trump's corruption. And you name it, people. Those people are the ones that fucking bankrupted your country. And they're the ones with the super PACs, the news media. News media hasn't fucking featured my face for real, dude. And why would they? They're ran by super, they're a super PAC. They endorse Hillary or Donald because they got the money, dude. Vote for me, America. Like, I'm in the projects. I fell in love up here once. A long fucking time ago. But you know, America, what about the kids? What about the children, Hillary Clinton, for real? You want to just come up and smile, bitch, and act like everything's going to be okay, Hillary Clinton. Everything is not going to be okay for those fucking kids. You're a fucking crook, Hillary Clinton, for real. You too, Donald Trump. Both of you do not give a fuck about those kids over there, for real, dude. Don't vote for Hillary Clinton. Don't vote for Donald Trump America, seriously. They don't care about those fucking kids. You know, there's no fucking economic opportunities up here. We're in the projects. You know, we're in the hood. We're in the ghetto. You name it. You know, what about them? They're not going to have work. They're not going to have work years down the road because everything's made in fucking China. You know, you people don't give a fuck about those people or those fucking kids, Hillary Clinton. You too, Donald Trump. Like, I want to meet you motherfuckers in person, Hillary. I'm a third-party candidate. You told that fucking Moroccan girl to run for something, Hillary. You, all you politicians are crooked. I want to fire every congressman, every senator, and put people like him in government for real, dude. Why can't he be a senator, Hillary Clinton, for real? You too, Sarah Palin. You know, how come that one down there can't be a fucking governor? Because all you motherfuckers are crooked, dude, and filthy fucking rich. And no, dude, we're going to 90% income net worth tax on wealthy people except President Terry. For real, dude. Except the president. And when, when, I, when I get elected president, I don't want a, a term limit. No, dude. A one world order and terms? No, dude. Basically, life expectancies is terms. And if I die, then it, whoever my vice president and then whoever I, I leave a list down, like a will, of people that are supposed to succeed me properly to make sure that they don't end up killing you people or locking your kids up in chains for real, dude. Because they would take her kids and put them in chains to pay off the national debt. They really would. And she doesn't even know that. I hope she didn't hear me. But, like, honestly, America... Th these things are all possible in a capitalist society. Look, they got prostitution, they got, you name it, people. So, like, don't think that with all these laws and this, oh, we're taking your guns away and all this shit now, and, oh, you got to get vaccines now, and you have to get health care now, or else you're going to pay fines or go to jail, and that your government's not only going to close up in on you like that for real, dude. And you people going to snap at one point for real, dude. Because once you realize all your rights and shit have been taken away overnight, you're going to be like, dude, how do we get here? And like, and then basically when you people realize that it's already too late for you people, because like, you're already on a bus going somewhere. And like, when you're on that bus going somewhere, you're gone, motherfucker. Like, you're not coming back. <laughs> Netted. Terry2016 knows about this. I'm the prophet of a lot of people. A lot of you people, get, a lot of you people eventually at some point will get taken away against your will. I know this. I was up here last year and I fell in love with a motherfucker named Carl Gooch. And he left me, and it left me with a broken arm and, and, a, and a dislocated elbow. And I got hit by a car and then I converted to Islam and then Allah made me his prophet. And then I saw the Illuminati take over New York. 
overnight all your fucking rights get taken away, dude. They do. Because the, the news media, the super packs, that's the news media. They're not featuring me, dude. And they were trying to make it look like Cumbria News and feature me at last minute. Like, whatever. Don't, don't watch the news companies. Like, seriously, dude. They're awful as shit. So, like, this nail place is going to have to charge extra taxes. Like a perfume tax and a sales tax and a, a maybe a service tax and a recycling tax and you name it people it's like with the trash if you don't if you don't recycle you gotta take it like Hillary Clinton's all for more of that shit for real dude don't vote for crooked Hillary vote for me America Terry 2016 because you people are gonna freak out when one day you're getting taken away and you're like oh I wanna go back oh I should have voted for homeless man it's too late I'm gonna be safe because I already saw this shit happen so when it does happen I'm gonna be like you know what I saw it I was there and basically, I'm living proof that you could actually live through something like that. Because I lived through it last year. Vote for me, America. I'm your Black Lives Matter president. You don't have to like me or not, for real, dude. At the end of the day, I'm your only fucking friend, dude. Hillary Clinton doesn't give a fuck about you people. Really, she doesn't. I fell in love up here, okay? So, like, I, I've seen the people in the neighborhood before. Hillary's never been up here, dude. This isn't Princeton Hillary Clinton. This isn't fucking any of that shit for real, dude. We're in, on 103rd Street in the fucking projects for real, dude. And I'm Prophet Terry, and I fell in love with a guy named Carl Gooch up here a long fucking time ago. And he left me with a broken arm and a dislocated shoulder and a broken heart and, a, and just a mind blown. And then I converted to Islam. And then Allah made me his prophet. If you kill me, you kill Allah's prophet. It's that simple. And like, you people need me all the way until I die a natural death for real, dude, because I talk to Allah regularly. But I'm Terry, and I fell in love with a guy named Carl Gooch up here for real, dude. That's my story, and I'm, I'll make a movie about it because it needs to get told. Because it happened, dude. How a lot called on me to be the president and all that shit for real, dude. This is my life, and this is just raw editing footage. We're gonna get actors to play me and shit for real, dude. That'd be awesome. I'd be like, dude, homeless man on his like 8,000 videos and his cross-country tour is running for president where I make a movie about it and how he fell in love with Gooch and up in the ghetto and all that for real. You know, so like, yeah, dude, I am the prophet of Allah. Allah had worked really hard to send me here to channel me, to tell me what to do, to show me the path that I needed to go through in order to get to my final destination, which is Jenna. So... Anyway, people, I'm going to Jenna. I don't know where you people are going, but I'm going to fucking Jenna. I said, I'm Terry, and I fell in love with a guy named Carl Gooch on 102nd Street in Manhattan, dude, in Harlem, a long fucking time ago. And Hillary Clinton wasn't here then, and she's not here now, dude. Don't vote for Crooked Hillary America, like, seriously. Don't vote for her, Harlem. I fucking dare you people in Harlem to vote for Crooked Hillary, like, seriously. This is in Times Square. Any of that shit. We're in the fucking projects. I fell in love with a guy named Carl Gooch. Who broke my heart. He left me in a three-year depression. You know, I almost committed suicide. You name it, people. And then I converted to Islam to stay alive. So I'm here now. And Allah made me the prophet because he wants me to save Islam before I die. And all of that, and I'm gonna serve a lot because I have to. I'm gonna die soon. So, anyway, I love a lot. A lot who occupy. I'm serving. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, kids. Vote for me, America. Terry 2016. Like, after me, it's gonna be Mayor Bloomberg. But no, dude, I want four years in that White House first. And then you give it back to the rich people, but no, dude. A homeless man gets four years, dude. Go for homeless man, America. Like, seriously. Donald Trump's not here, dude. Vote for me, America. 
Vote for me, Florida. Vote for me, Georgia. Vote for me, uh, Mississippi. Vote for me, Utah, Ohio, Kansas. Vote for Terry 2016, dude. Hillary Clinton sold your houses and shit already without you people knowing, dude. The banks all own that shit for real, dude. Vote for Terry 2016, America. You're about to get evicted, like, for real.